What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, today I'm checking out the Spy Point Flex cellular trail camera. This camera is called the Flex because it has a dual SIM card. No more choosing between Verizon or AT&T. This camera will choose whatever cell carrier is best in your area. And if one goes down, it's gonna bump over to the other one automatically, making sure you have full coverage. This thing has some really impressive specs and I've been using Tactic Cam for a little while now and I'll just say that this Flex has my attention for sure. So after I do this full review video on this, I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison between the Spy Point Flex and the Tactic Cam Reveal XB. They both have similar features and are at a comparable price point. So guys, make sure you hook me up and hit subscribe and catch that video as well. So let's get into this box and check it out. So it does come with a quick start guide and of course the strap for the tree right here. So here it is right out of the box guys and I really like how it looks. It's got some really nice sharp angles on there. Um, I'm not sure why these cell cam companies don't put their cameras in camo, but uh, it's, it's cool for how it looks. I like how it looks just right out of the box. It also has 33 megapixel photos, 1080p videos on this thing. And of course, those are going to come right to your Spy Point app right on your phone. So this camera does take eight AA batteries right in this little cartridge right here. And it takes a micro SD card in this slot right here. And I'm not a huge fan of those micro SD cards. They're just so tiny. I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose them or snap them in half, but this one does take a micro SD. All right, we got the micro SD card formatted and ready to go. Let's set this up on the tree and run some tests. All right, so we're all set up on the tree and I will say that it was super easy to set up with the app. You just scan that QR code on the door and you're good to go. Uh, I did notice when you're setting it up, you have to choose between photos or videos. So you might wanna keep that in mind. You can't do photo and video. Uh, this thing is GPS enabled. It has a 100 foot flash and 100 foot detection range, and it has a 0.3 second trigger speed, which is really fast for a cell camera. So I'm really excited to check that out. So what I'm gonna do now is my trigger speed analysis, where I creep around back behind this thing, set up about 10 yards in front of the camera and just run right by and see how quickly it is, how quickly it takes to pick me up. Now I will do two of these because it has the photo and video options. So I'm gonna have to run past it once in video mode and then do it again for photo mode. And then we'll check all the footage after I do this little test. All right, so I'm about the same body mass as a good sized buck. So this 0.3 second trigger speed should have no trouble whatsoever picking me up. I ran by it once in video mode and once in photo mode. Now let's check that footage. That 0.3 second trigger worked well as it caught me right in the middle of the frame. The photo is a bit blurry, however, and I'm not that fast, so I would have liked to have seen a bit better quality image there. Here you can see the daytime quality image you get. And here's the same image with the HD version, which of course you pay extra for. To give you a better view of the difference, I blew up both versions of the photo and put them side by side here so you could really see you know, how much better the HD quality is that you download and request as opposed to the standard image you get with, within the app. 
Here is the nighttime photo quality. And again, here is the HD version of the same photo. And here is the side-by-side -side comparison. And you can see you can make out that mountain buck text on my shirt a bit better in the HD version there with the nighttime image. And this here, I just wanted to show you the red lights you get uh, when you're taking nighttime photos with this thing. You just get two subtle red flashes. When you're shooting in video mode, guys, you get like a little preview of what the video is going to look like. So you get a video preview, a little snapshot, a little thumbnail of each thing. And it's kind of like a three image animated GIF type thing on here. You can see what I'm talking about right here. And then when you request a video download, you'll get a full 15 second HD video clip. And here is the daytime video quality. Nice HD video here. You could even see the flies on that doe's back. And here's the nighttime video quality. So I do want to mention the battery life on this camera. Um, I first set it up in a way that did drain the battery pretty significantly. Um, but then I tweaked it over time and then was able to refine the settings so that uh, the battery life held out pretty well. And there's really a few things you want to consider here. When I first set it up in photo mode, I had three burst photos and then I had like the shortest delay. So a 10 second delay in between photos, the three burst photos. And I just happened to have some raccoons playing around up in my food plot at night. And it just kept taking picture after picture after picture of those raccoons. And it just really you know, crushed my battery and crushed the amount of photos that, you know, that I subscribed for. Uh, so I did have to tweak some settings there. You also might want to think about the sensitivity uh, of the trigger, high, medium, or low settings on the sensitivity. There's also that motion delay in between photos or in between videos. So you can have it at 10 seconds or you could just, you know, extend the motion delay there. And then there's the sync frequency. So when the camera communicates with the app and sends you the photos or videos or whatever, you could have this uh, one time a day all the way up to every single detection. And then when you do that every detection, it'll even tell you there's a little pop-up on there that says, hey, uh, this is gonna really chew up your battery. You might wanna get an extended battery pack or something on there to help supplement it. So I've refined mine down to where I'm only having it six times a day. And I find that setting to be working out pretty good and conserving the battery for me but you could even go less if you want to. Spy Point has really stepped up their game with this flex camera. It's a really nice camera here. I like the dual SIM design. I think that's really smart. No more worrying about which is better, AT&T or Verizon. It's just gonna choose whatever service is best and then use the other as a backup. Great idea. I also really appreciate the 100 free photos Spy Point gives you a month. No plan required. That's very cool, these guys. Uh, if you just want to leave your camera up in the off season just to keep tabs on what's out there, use those 100 photos up and you're good to go. This camera takes nice photos and nice videos and is a really solid camera, guys. As always, the links to the items we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.